Dragons love tacos. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a taco mountain. <laughs> yum, yum. I could drown in tacos. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Fat Cat Books. Please subscribe and press the bell. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmiri, and read by Teacher Mike. Hey, kid! Huh? How did you get into my room? Woof woof! Did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Um, okay, but why are you in my room telling me this? Well, you must love dragons. They're everywhere in your room. Hey, guys, can you help me count all of the dragons in the bedroom? Did you count them all? Let's find them! There is a yellow dragon on the chest of drawers, next to the boy with a funny face. Hey! There is a red dragon, a blue dragon, and a yellow dragon on top of the bookcase. And there is a black dragon on the top shelf of the bookcase. There is a big poster of dragons. There is one big blue dragon growling on top of a mountain. There are also three dragons flying in the sky. One is yellow, one is red, and the last one is green. In the castle-shaped bed, there is a white, blue and grey dragon getting cosy under the bed cover. Oh, so cute! On the floor, there is a green dragon with red wings. It's in front of the bookcase. Under the bed, there is a long purple dragon with yellow feet and a yellow head. In between the purple dragon, and the dog bowl are three small red dragons. That adds up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen dragons. Um, what about my lamp? The lamp? Hmm, well, I can see three complete dragons on the lamp too. I know, 15 plus 3 equals 18. That's right. That makes it 18 dragons. 
but I can only see bits of the other dragons, so I suppose I can't count them. What do you guys think? Ruff, ruff. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. What ingredients can you see? There are some chili peppers, bulbs of garlic, there is some coriander, also called cilantro, which is the Spanish name, hanging above the counter. On the counter, there are two bell peppers. One is yellow, one is orange. Three jalapenos. A red one, a green one, and an orange one. Jalapeno starts with letter J. Why is it not jalapeno? Well, it's a word from the Spanish language. And in Spanish, the letter J makes an H sound, like this. <gasps> but instead of changing the spelling, we just remember how they say it in Spanish. Jalapeno! Oh, okay. There are two big red tomatoes and one small tomato. There is also a type of green tomato. That is called a tomatillo. There are some slices of onion. Some dishes of ground up spices. And some salt. Next on the cooker, there is some minced beef cooking in a frying pan. My grandmother from America says it's ground beef. Minced beef and ground beef are the same. In the UK, the machine to make it is called a mincer, but in America, it's called a grinder. So, people in the UK say their meat has been minced by the mincer, and people in America say their meat has been ground by the grinder. Oh, okay. What else is on the cooker? There are some beans boiling in a pot. And is that some cheese melting in a small pan? What do you think? The last ingredient is the taco shells, which are called tortillas. The ground beef looks so delicious. I'm starving now. Wait, be patient. It isn't cooked yet. Can you see? An orange dragon is still cooking the taco filling. Okay, I will wait. Oh. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Huh? What? Oh, I'm on TV? Um, well, I do really like the cheese. Ah, I see. You do look like a cheesy dragon. Oh, thank you. Wait, what does that mean? The red dragon has bought a bag of tacos from the taco cave. This is a popular dragon restaurant. There are so many dragons flying up in the sky, getting ready to buy some tacos. 
Can you count all the dragons that you can see? There is, of course, the big red dragon in the middle. Um, hello again. And there are many dragons flying in the sky. A purple dragon, an orange dragon, a blue dragon, a yellow dragon, a green dragon, another blue dragon, another orange dragon, a grey dragon with a red tail, and another purple dragon. That adds up to... Ten dragons! Um, what about the big tail? Tail? Oh, yes! Hmm. But it could be a big snake. Or a big blue tongue. That's silly. It looks like a tail of a dragon. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I guess we can count that as another dragon too. That adds up to 11 dragons! But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more! They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa! They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa! If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it! What is salsa? Salsa in Spanish means sauce, and there are many types of salsa. The most common type of salsa is made with chopped tomatoes, onions, coriander, chilies, lime juice, and a pinch of salt. Ooh, I can see it. They are mixing all the ingredients in a black bowl. Mmm, oh, how do we not make it spicy? Yes, remember not to add any spicy ingredients into the salsa. Dragons hate it. Ugh. Hey, you guys! Do you know what ingredients will make a salsa spicy? The boy has got a cookbook. The title of the book says No Spicy Salsa A Guide to a Dragon Cuisine. That's right, the chili peppers and the jalapeno peppers. Also, that Mexican Tabasco sauce is very spicy because it has spicy peppers in it. Woof woof! Mmm! Woof woof woof! The salsa smells so scrumptious! Oh, it must be very tasty! I can't stop drooling! I'm sure dragons will love our salsa. Yay! Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Oh, my ears are burning. Are you talking about me? Hello, Mr. Dragon. You must have eaten some hot sauce. Well, just one drop of hot sauce can make a dragon's ears smoke. <laughs> oh, no! Hot sauce is spicy. It is mainly made of chili peppers. That's why your ears are burning. Achoo! 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 Just one speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. 
Spicy Salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles... Oh boy! Have you ever eaten something too spicy? Here are some tricks to cool down your mouth after eating something too spicy. Try drinking some milk. Gup, gup, gup. Milk helps calm the spicy fire. Or try eating a spoonful of yogurt. Yogurt is cool and creamy. Perfect for fighting off the heat. Or try munching on some bread. Bread can help soak up the spicy stuff and make your mouth feel better. How do you calm the spicy feeling? Do you have any tips? I would love to know. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey, dragon! How do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Oh, <laughs> it's like a fire in my belly. Oh, ah, my tongue is burning. I have already drunk a lot of water from the river. My tongue is still burning! Ah! Look at these dragons! They are wearing different costumes! The orange dragon is wearing a blue suit, a yellow belt, red trunks and a red cape! Look at his strong <gasps> arms! He looks so muscular! <gasps> Who is he pretending to be? That's right, he's Superman! There is a yellow shield on the dragon's costume. It looks just like the one on Superman's chest, but there is an extra letter. It has a red D as well as an S on the shield. What does the D and the S stand for. Hmm. Well, the S is, of course, for Superman. But what about the D? What is the D for? I know, I know. He is a dragon. So, D is for dragon. D is for dragon Superman. Don't worry, everyone! With my strong arms <gasps> and fiery breath, I will keep you safe! Up, up, and away! The white dragon is wearing a pirate hat, an eye patch, a white shirt, and a brown vest. He is also wearing a piece of gold jewellery. Can you spot the piece of gold jewellery? That's right! The white dragon is wearing a gold necklace! Who is he dressed up as? Army mateys! I'm ready to sail the seven seas! <laughs> The blue dragon is wearing a pointy hat with stars on it. He is also holding a magical wand, which will sparkle when the dragon casts a spell. Who is the dragon pretending to be? Pockety-pockety-wockety-wack! 
<laughs> That's right, the dragon is dressed up as a wizard. Why have the dragons dressed up as different characters? Dragons love parties. Do you love parties? When you go to a costume party, what would you dress up as? Would you dress up as a superhero with a cool cape and superpowers? A pirate with a hat and an eye patch searching for treasure? Or a wizard with a magical wand? And a pointy hat? Or maybe you have another awesome idea. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. It's a bright sunny day and there's a super fun pool party going on. Look over there. It's a red dragon. Sunbathing on a deck chair under a big orange beach umbrella. The red dragon looks very comfy on that deck chair, soaking up the sun. Ah, this is the life. I'm getting my scales all toasty and warm. I feel like a dragon pancake. Do you like? Lying in the sun, like me? Those dragons in the swimming pool are having so much fun. They are playing with a beach ball. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, it's coming back down. Watch out, Sheila. I'm passing it back to you. Don't let it hit the water. Oh, don't worry, Sheila. I'm great at keeping the beach ball up in the air because I'm a dragon with wings. <laughs> Those dragons in the swimming pool are having so much fun. They are playing some kind of beach ball volleyball. No, you won't, Fred. I've got it. You can't get it past me. <laughs> it's not too deep, is it? I'm a little scared. Ooh. Could you pass the taco inflatable to me? I really need it. Ooh. The sun is shining and the water is sparkling. Those dragons are laughing playing and having lots of fun. This is the best pool party ever. We should play like this every day. What do you think? Should we have more pool parties? <sighs> they like big gigantic parties with accordions. An accordion is a boxed shaped musical instrument. It is easy to carry around. It looks like a box with a keyboard on one side and buttons on the other side. When you press the keys and the buttons while squeezing and pulling the instrument, you can make beautiful music. La 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 la. I love making music. Do you like to play music too? Yes, I like to play music too. Let's make some music together. What's your favourite song? The dragons are enjoying the music and dancing around. They like big gigantic parties with accordions. And tiny little parties with charades. Charades is a game where you act out a word or phrase 
without speaking. And everyone else tries to guess what it is. The dark purple dragon is holding out both of his arms as straight as he can. And he is walking while keeping his legs very straight too. He is also making some scary noises. Can you guess what he's acting out? Do you know what I am? The grey dragon looks very excited. It must have a very good guess. Wow, I think I know what it is. Are you pretending to be a zombie? It must be a zombie. Hmm, I think he's pretending to be, um, a mummy. Ooh, that's also a very good guess. The dragons are talking, playing and laughing. They are having a great time with their friends. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. <laughs> the only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, Dragons love tacos! Aha! The boy has already filled up a pair of trousers with tacos. Trousers are called pants in America. Trousers are much better for holding tacos instead of some smelly underpants. <laughs> there are three buckets filled with tacos. Can you see the tacos spilling out? Let's count them together. One, two, three. Uh, so many tacos. Look at the boy. The boy also he has is busy a preparing boat filled lots with and tacos. Lots of tacos. That is the perfect of amount of tacos. Do you know why dragons. he is preparing so Can many you count tacos? All the tacos. I need to make sure we have enough tacos for the dragons. They love tacos so much. Do you like tacos too? The boy knows that dragons have big appetites. Did you know that a dragon who loves tacos so much can eat a whole mountain of tacos? That's why the boy is making sure there are enough tacos. To make sure that all the dragons will be happy. <coughs> He is pushing a wagon filled with tacos. A wagon is like a little car without an engine. And you can use it to carry things like toys, groceries, or even tacos. <laughs> he is taking the tacos into the house. There are two big boxes of tacos in the house already. There are a lot of tacos! <laughs> There's a sign on the boat that says 
SS Taco. Hmm, what could this mean? This could mean super special tacos. Because these tacos are made with extra love and care. Just for the dragons. Or maybe it stands for super scrumptious tacos. Because these tacos are yummy. Or perhaps it means secret sauce tacos. With a magical sauce only dragons know about. Can you imagine how many tacos a dragon can eat? Let's pretend to eat tacos like a dragon. Nom 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 nom. The air is filled with the delicious smell of tacos. Woof woof. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> I smell something yummy. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I'm here to help my friend and make sure he has fun while preparing tacos. Woof, 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 woof. The boy's dog is wandering around, sniffing curiously and helping to drag a bag of tacos. The boy's dog is snorting up the wonderful smells as he helps to drag in a bag of tacos. I want more dragons to come over. More dragons mean I need more tacos. Could you help me make more tacos? Woof, woof. <laughs> sure. Sure, I can help you. Woof, woof. <laughs> can you help the boy make more tacos? What ingredients do we need? There are many big boxes filled with other ingredients outside the house. Can you see them? Let's find out what they are. There is a box filled with lettuce. Lettuce makes tacos nice and crunchy. Can you pretend to sprinkle lettuce on your taco? There is another box filled with tomatoes. These tomatoes are so red and juicy. Mmm, they look like little red balloons ready to pop. <laughs> Can you pretend to add tomatoes to your taco? There is another box filled with onions. Onions give the tacos a tasty kick. They add just the right amount of zing. Do you like onions on your tacos? Can you pretend to sprinkle some slices of onion on your taco? There is a box filled with cheese. The cheese is so gooey and delicious. And it melts perfectly on tacos. Cheese makes tacos extra yummy. yummy. Do you like cheese on your tacos? There is one big box overflowing with taco shells. These taco shells are so crispy. They make a crunchy sound when you bite into them. Don't forget to put all the ingredients in a taco shell. Thank you for helping. The dragons are going to love these tacos. Ruff, ruff. You're welcome. <laughs> the boy and the dog have prepared lots of delicious tacos with lettuce, cheese and onions for the dragons. They laughed, they played and got ready for the most amazing Taco party ever! In a cozy cave, a blue dragon with an orange face and wings stands in front of a calendar. The dragon is holding a red pen and looks excited. Can you guess why? 
the dragon sees an invitation card on his desk. The card says, you're invited. Taco party at Robbie's house. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? The dragon's eyes are big with excitement. Wow, a taco party at Robbie's house. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to eat all the delicious tacos and have fun with all my friends. The dragon's eyes sparkle with joy. He can't believe he was invited to a taco party. Outside the cave, other dragons are flying around, talking all about the taco party at Robbie's house. It looks like they also got a party invitation from Robbie. They are so excited, they can't stop talking all about it. There are two things dragons love more than anything. Parties and tacos. Taco parties are probably the best thing in the world. Did you hear about the taco party at Robbie's house? It's going to be amazing! I can't wait to eat all the yummy tacos. I hope they have lots of cheese and lettuce. I'm so excited. I'm going to wear my favourite party hat. <laughs> the dragons are so excited that they are doing flips and loops in the air. But who do you think Robbie could be? Could he be the boy who was busy preparing the taco party? That blue dragon inside the cave is so excited that it starts to dance around the room. Can you see when the taco party will be held? It will be held on the 23rd of November at 7 p.m. The dragon has marked the date on his calendar. The dragon circles the taco party date with a big red marker. He can't stop smiling and giggling. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> he can't wait for the party to come. I need to get ready for the taco party. What should I wear? Maybe my favorite taco hat. Or should I bring something special to the party? Do you like parties? How about taco parties? They're the best, right? The big day is finally here. Taco party day at Robbie's house. The dragons are so thrilled. They can hardly wait. Robbie's house is buzzing with fun. The dragons line up in front of the house, eagerly waiting to go inside. The biggest black dragon lies on the red roof of the house. He is taking a peek through the window. Mmm, I see tacos. Yum! A red dragon stands in front of the house. He holds an invitation card. This is the place. We're here for the taco party. A tan dragon with a long neck sniffs around curiously. I smell something yummy. Is it tacos? His nose wiggles with excitement. The smallest dragon, a teal one with tiny wings, looks up at the big dragons. I can't wait to eat all the yummy tacos and 
play with my friends. He is hopping up and down with joy. <coughs> Just then, more dragons start flying towards Robbie's house. Their wings flapping with excitement. They cannot wait to join the taco party. Meanwhile, in the backyard, there is a boy. He must be Robbie. What is Robbie doing in the backyard? Robbie is busy digging a hole to bury all the spicy salsa. We can't have any spicy salsa at the party. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Do you remember which dragons ate spicy tacos before? Do you remember what happened to those dragons that ate spicy salsa? Robbie's dog is also in the backyard. He is happily digging with Robbie. The dog wags its tail and barks excitedly. Woof woof! This is so much fun, Robbie! I love digging! Ha ha ha! He thinks it's all a fun game! The air is filled with the smell of delicious tacos! The dragons are ready to have the best taco party ever! They cheer! Hooray for tacos! Hooray for tacos! And they rush inside! Can you cheer, hooray for tacos, with me? Ready? Hooray for tacos! Now let's begin the taco fun! Mwah! Mwah! Thanks for throwing the most taco party! <laughs> oh. Well, isn't that adorable? Robbie is getting a thank you kiss! from one of the dragons. I hope you have lots of fun and eat all of my tacos. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! This looks like a very fun party. The room is filled with pant loads, or trouser loads, of tacos scattered all over the place. There are even taco-shaped balloons floating around. It is truly a taco lover's paradise. There is a red dragon helping Robbie's dog get a taco. Woof woof, thank you. It tastes nice, doesn't it? There's a yellow dragon in the middle, savouring a taco. A dark blue and orange dragon is snapping up two tacos at the same time. Oh, these are good tacos. Behind this dragon is a purple dragon eating a taco whilst balancing a taco on its tail. Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> I can balance a taco on my tail! Can you balance a taco on your tail like me? Next to the purple dragon is a yellow dragon sprinkling some extra toppings on top of its taco. What do you think those extra toppings are? Could it be cheese? I love cheese. More cheese, please! The dragon is also wearing a white t-shirt that says, I love tacos. Yeah! 
above those dragons is another dark grey dragon, which is flying up to the ceiling whilst juggling tacos. Juggling means throwing many things into the air and catching them again and again without dropping them. What can you juggle? Can you juggle tacos? This dragon also has tacos stuck to his tail, but not for long. A blue dragon and another grey dragon are gobbling up those tacos skewered on those orange spikes. Look at those two dragons dancing to the taco party music. The small blue dragon is wearing a lampshade on his head like it's a party hat. <laughs> Very funny. Who is the greediest dragon in the picture? It could be the purple dragon in the corner because he has stuffed his mouth full of tacos. <laughs> All the dragons are enjoying the taco party so much. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second! What are those little green things in the salsa? Robbie looks very shocked. You didn't read the fine print! Woof woof! What happened? Is there something wrong? Do you know what those little green things are? And why it's a problem? It says, totally mild salsa on the jar. Hmm, mild salsa? Well, that seems fine. All the dragons are sharing that salsa. But there is a picture of a green pepper on it. That looks like a picture of a jalapeno. Wait, there is a small asterisk. Next to the word salsa, that means we need to find another asterisk for more information. Ah, there is the other asterisk. And next to it, it says, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. But jalapenos are very spicy. Oh no, the dragons have eaten their tacos with jars and jars of not totally mild salsa. Can you guess what is about to happen? Woof woof! Don't eat those tacos, dragons! Woof woof! Dragons, listen to me! Do not eat those tacos! Those little green specks in the salsa? Those are jalapeno peppers! They are super spicy! I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not gonna love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos! <coughs> oh, it's no use. The dragons can't stop eating all those delicious tacos. They are munching. They are crunching, and they are gobbling up all the tacos. It is now too late. <sighs> the dragons cannot help breathing fire on everything. <clears throat> Whoosh! Flames everywhere. The tacos are on fire. The salsa is on fire. The curtains are on fire, the ceiling is on fire, and, well, the whole house is on fire. Help! My mouth is on fire! Can you pretend to breathe fire like a dragon? <gasps> Quick! Hide in a safe place! Over there! Under the table! Woof woof! Woof woof! Woof woof! 
And there's Robbie, ducking down and trying to figure out what to do. <coughs> it's very smoky here. What should I do? Woof woof. It's very dangerous. The dragons are getting out of control. Some time later, the dragons finally stopped breathing fire. The whole house is now filled with black smoke. <coughs> oh, I feel much better now. Oh. I'm sorry, Robbie. We burnt down your house. When we eat spicy food, we can't stop the heat from bursting out of our tummies. Oh. The dragons have learnt an important lesson. Always check the salsa before eating. Just a few planks of wood have survived. Mum and Dad are going to be so cross with me. <laughs> this was a disaster. What am I going to do? <coughs> oh, God, so smoky. Ruff, ruff. There's nothing to do with me. Ugh. Will those dragons explode with fire again? Ooh. I almost became a hot dog. Ruff, ruff. It's okay, Robbie. We'll help you rebuild your house. Hey, you. Don't eat that taco. Oh, but it does look tasty. No, don't you eat it. <sighs> oh, okay. Robbie, are you okay? My house. It's gone. Well, I'll only help if we get some free taco breaks. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they are good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they are just in it for the taco breaks. A good Samaritan is someone who helps those hurt or in need, even if they do not know the person. Being a good Samaritan means being kind and helpful. After a fiery taco mishap, our dragon friends felt super sorry for blasting Robbie's house to toast. What will they do? They put on their hard hats and said, Let's get building! The dragons help Robbie build his house. The brown dragon helps carry the heavy planks of wood over to the construction site. The largest dragon lifts the heavy beams of wood so that they can be screwed and nailed in place. The flying red dragon has a cordless drill for making holes. And the flying grey dragon has a hammer for driving nails into the wood to hold the beams in place. Oh no! One dragon has forgot to wear its hard hat whilst working on the construction site. Can you spot who isn't wearing their hard hat on the construction site? Always remember to wear a hard hat on a construction site. It can be very dangerous and things could fall and hurt your head. Mmm, these non-spicy tacos look delicious. Much safer than those spicy ones. Hold on, guys. Let me taste test them first. I'm the official taco safety officer. I must taste the tacos for quality control. It's important. Hey, wait a minute. You're just eating all of the tacos. 
Well, I need to test them all. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, dragons. My new house is perfect. Thank you for helping me fix my house. It looks like nothing happened. Ah, oh, no worries, Robbie. Your mum and dad won't suspect a thing. <laughs> Remember, kids, just like our dragon friends, sometimes things don't go to plan. But with a little help from our friends, we can always make it better. Hooray! Now let's celebrate with non-spicy tacos! Ha 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 ha! After the dragons finished rebuilding Robbie's house, they decided to celebrate in the best way they know how, with a taco toss! This is the best day ever! Who knew rebuilding a house could be so rewarding? Woof woof! Can I get some tacos too? What do you think would happen if the dragons ate spicy tacos again? A white dragon is flying in the sky! It is holding a takeaway bag? from the Taco Cave restaurant. He's delivering a taco straight into that blue dragon's mouth. That white dragon must be making sure that every dragon gets their share of deliciousness. Catch the taco, blue dragon. It's Taco-tastic day. I got it. Tacos are the best. Keep them coming! Um. And here is a red dragon lying down with its mouth full of tacos and a belly covered in even more tacos. This dragon is in taco heaven! <laughs> mm -hmm. Tacos! So many tacos! I can't eat them fast enough! Um, 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 um. Oh. Tacos are everywhere! It's a taco paradise for all our dragon friends! The dragons are having the time of their lives, celebrating their love for tacos! Remember, the way to a dragon's heart is always through his stomach! <laughs> if you're left frustrated looking for a fun and engaging learn to read curriculum but feel overwhelmed by the choice, then look no further! My phonics programs have everything you need. I developed my phonics programs over many years of teaching and I'm excited to bring them to you. All you need to do is follow my systematic, easy to follow, four step lessons. Each lesson builds up on the previous lesson and ensures your child will commit what they've learned to memory. I've taught thousands of kids and they're all happy readers. There's no preparation needed or major lesson planning. It covers everything you need to build up blending and decoding skills. By the end of the programs, your child will be able to read up to 80% of the words they'll encounter at their age. The programs include real teacher videos hosted by me, Teacher Mike, also original stories, two course books filled with colourful fun activities which are available as printed books but currently only for selected countries, so check it out, see if it's available where you are. It also includes a huge set of printable flashcards, over 1,300 across the programs and a virtual teacher. The virtual teacher is a very powerful yet simple tool. Children can learn to sound out and read all the words and the stories with just a press of the button. They can even do the exercises first on the virtual teacher before doing it in the book. This makes it great for the classroom, allowing activities to be done as a group. 
Also, all pronunciations are provided with a video of me saying the word, which makes it much easier for non-native speakers to learn how to say the word, as they can visually see how it's formed. The virtual teacher also includes fun, colourful games to make learning super fun. It runs on PowerPoint, so no installation is required, no internet is required, you can learn anytime, anywhere. So, you don't need any experience, or need to do any major preparation, you don't need to install anything or log in every time you want to use it, it's an effortless program guaranteed to get your child reading. So check it out now at fatcatbooks.uk, or if you have further questions, you can contact me with the links in the description. Goodbye, see you next time!